edges to an image in Photoshop okay so I'm gonna just do it to this plain old image here that's just a blue background um, and so the way to go about this is down here in your shapes tool you're gonna to want to go down and select rounded rectangle tool okay um, I'm not having you know I'm not, not giving it a fill so I went in and did no fill and I'm gonna give it a stroke it's not necessary though but um, I'll show you why though um, you know probably two points probably fine here okay and I'm gonna give this a radius of 20 you can play around with that uh, I you'll see what that does that you can go greater and that basically is the the round on each corner that affects it the radius there okay so I'm gonna just kind of go in the top left here and square it up and do a click and drag to the bottom right square that up and let go and you'll see we have this stroke around here and we created a round rectangle layer and what I want you to do is hold the command key down um, if you're on a PC, I believe it'd be the control key, and you're going to click on this layer to make a selection. See now how you have a, a selection made? And what you can do now is we're going to go to our background layer. We're actually going to double click on that to make it a normal layer instead of a background. And I'm going to go up to select inverse, and so we have everything selected. Uh, on the outside of our image and then we're going to simply do a control if you're on a PC control X if you're on a Mac command X and you see how we grabbed everything out on the edges there now we have a nice rounded image now you have this stroke around which maybe you like that you know you could have chose any color here and you have a stroke around your image if you don't like that all you have to do is delete this layer here and I'll even just you know remove the eye and see now we just have a nice image with a rounded edge okay um, you can always go back later and add an edge to it uh, using the um, stroke tool by selecting the layer going edit stroke and choosing a color go with a green one and I don't know if you can see that, but it actually did put a green border around the edge there, okay? And you can make that even larger, let's say. Eight. Bam. So you see how that's a large one now. All right, so that's it. That's how you get a rounded rectangle, a rounded image, and you can add a stroke around it as well. Thanks. I hope that's helpful.